Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm on a roll today and this time I'm doing another tutorial video on MetaMask. This is a very handy Ethereum wallet built into your Chrome browser. So if you use Chrome like most people out there, go check this one out. So it's right here, look, the Ethereum browser extension. And I already have it, um, but you can install it. And it's gonna give you that scary message that it can control all the website data. But if you take a look at other plugins out there on the Chrome Marketplace, a lot of them have the same one. So I think that's just Google's way of giving you disclaimer, um, but it's nothing to worry about, in my opinion at least. And also it's mainly used as like a middleman wallet. So you send coins there, use it every once in a while, and then send coins out to a more secure place. It's just a convenient way to do so because it's built into your browser. So once it's in your browser, it's gonna show up here. Let me just move this over. And you go through the setup process, type in your password, and then you can log in. And you can see many things. You can see an account. You can switch between accounts, create new accounts. Look, it's as simple as that. Create a new account. You can name it something. And let me go back to my main account. You can import accounts using different mechanisms like the private key or a JSON file. Um, and then you can view your tokens from the other address that's associated with that private key. Settings, info help. You can change between the networks. This is a test network. And the main one is where we do most of their things. You can buy straight up in here. I haven't actually tried this out actually. Um, but what I usually do is just send. You can use a send it to people. Uh, let's see. I don't have that much right here on here right now. But... You can send, and I'll show you this screen. And I'll show you the amount, the gas limit, gas price, the transaction fee, and the total. So you need this total to be less than what you have in your account balance. So if I do this right now, it's going to say insufficient balance, as you can see. Um, but you can also change your gas limit and gas price. This is probably something you'll need to do if you use this to participate in ICOs. Um, but if you're just sending a transaction to someone, this default is usually what I do. And then you can, this will be like send. This is reject right now. Um, reset and buy. But there, there will be a send button if there is sufficient balance. And you push that and it will go through. And you go back to the main screen and you can see all your previous transactions. See some I rejected, some it went through. If you click it, it will go to Etherscan. And this will show you details about it. Like how much was sent. Oh, I sent $55. I don't even know where I sent that to. Um, and who I sent it to, the confirmations, and you can share this with other people to a uh, proof of transaction. Let's go back to MetaMask. Reject. And you can also click this dot 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 to view your account on either scan, show QR code if you want to use your phone to scan it or whatnot, copy address so you can paste it in an exchange, export private key. Let's just view the address on Etherscan. You can see all the things I've done, Ether, Delta, some token exchanges, and tokens you have, you can see on here too. And that's another thing too. This is an Ethereum wallet, so you can also hold your ERC20 tokens that you buy from ICOs. For example, you go to the Tokens tab, Add Token, you get this contract address from the ICO or from Etherscan, and then you can change the decimals, the token symbol. This should usually be filled in automatically. Add press add and if you have any tokens associated with your wallet address it will show up here it will be like omise go 200 tokens or something like that finally if you go to settings you can reveal seed wards this is if you want to use this for a backup purposes uh, write down the seed wards because this will let you access your funds and account even if you lose your browser or your laptop dies so thank you everyone, I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe and give me a like if you haven't already. And let me know what other tutorials you're interested in seeing. Um, I'll see you on the next one.